Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. I thought I'd do something a little bit different this time, guys, as I'm a huge fan of tower defense, guys. I, I can't say anything better about tower defense. I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the um, sort of foremost uh, gaming that I started with uh, back in a very, very long time. And so I thought, hey, you know, why not do a series on a bit of tower defense and, and give you guys what is the best tower defense that is out there. Um, I know I do a lot of Tap Titans, um, Tap Titans 2 content, but look, I wanted to give you a bit more than just that. All right, so one week of playing this, guys, and I thought, wow, this is this is a pretty solid game, guys. Absolutely amazing. Um, this tower defense game just gives you so much options to. Uh, level up so basically you have monsters you buy decks and the decks give you different cards of different monsters and with different monsters uh, You're gonna use them to be able to defend and obviously I'm up to immortal I've only played for a week and it seems really really fun haven't got any commanders which needs wave 3500 which I'm very very far off um, What happens is that if you stack it up right now, this is my strongest hero uh, you get 300% bonus DPS at the bottom left here when you complete the packs. So three of those packs, that means right now the next one is going to be at 55 cards. When I get to there, I'm going to get a bit of bonus. And obviously you can evolve and get it higher and you can tell the next evolution of it is going to get a whole lot higher. So the one part that I really, really do enjoy about this game is the experience you need to gain on your tower. So you can't just get a tower, get a bunch of cards and think that, hey, you're going to be absolutely stunning and amazing and, and pr pretty and beautiful. You actually need to try hard to get it some experience and so with the experience that comes with this your tower then becomes stronger over time so i really like this concept um, and on top of that you have normal spell upgrades spells are just spells uh, different artifacts as you unlock as you go further um, and then you're gonna have research on using some of these energy and this is a very interesting and nice way of sort of giving you a bit of extra also have a lot to farm because energies can only come from uh, beating one of those hero or bosses that come true which has a red line or the blue line and other way you can get that is should these bad boys over here and with these bad boys over here they give you um, bah, 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 experience or oh no sorry this one gives you experience but whereas on this one so much basically gives you uh, energy source and with the energy source you're going to be able to then use energy after like a fair amount of kills or targeted kills or heroes and so you're going to get more when you do as you can tell i got two over there and three over there so it's a very interesting concept I, I i'm going to play this a little bit more just to see what i think about it is is a kind of good game where you kind of just let it run let it go if you want to farm experience you can and if you wanted to you can also use boss rush which means you can rush 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 go all the way to the top prestige real quick get the prestige uh points you know to upgrade or you can slowly upgrade your um, towers by just letting them get the experience so it just really depends on how you play it so my play right now is i'm gonna get this bad boy to be my strongest hero and that means he's gonna get a he's gonna need to get a lot more exp and with this bad boy over here shadow is gonna give more exp around the area when they do get killed and so that's how i'm trying to boost my um hero which i want to use as a future and so you get your leaderboards you get highest wave total waves evolutions enemies killed energy and energy earned and so forth so guys if you're looking for something very casual in the background just to yeah just let it be you know and play i think this is a really really good game you know it just doesn't use a whole lot of brain it's not like you have to look up builds and look up this and that it's just more of like oh concentrate and see what happens and just know how it goes Obviously, when you lose, what happens is it's going to kick you back 10 waves. And I think it's going to go to 910, if I'm not mistaken, over here. Or 911. And then you just keep going back to it. All right. So, yeah. And I, oh, so I, I don't think you saw it because it just died so quick. I did summon a, um, I think it's called Necromancer. Is that what they call it? Sorry, Tank Swordman. And every day you get that. And when you get that, oh, actually, every four hours you get that. And it just gives you a whole lot of XP, a whole lot of gold. And just gives you an... Um, and ability to continue your upgrades so farming that every four hours is quite useful and these necromancers um, it's, it's just great i do about three or four of them or maybe even five let's go five of them they just die so quick because my guys are strong enough for it 
And usually when it comes to the daily missions, you're gonna have to spawn some Necromancer. And when you complete your daily missions, you're gonna get more of these diamonds and the diamonds will help you go further. So basically you have currency, energy, diamonds, and prestige points. So you have quite a bit to play with. And when you kill, for example, the Necromancers that I spoke about, you also have your tech tree, which you can get down to which I do want to get this bad boy to get a bit more XP so that way my towers grow a lot stronger so yeah that's it guys I uh, hope you guys like this series on this new evolution tower defense I think it's just a really really fun game uh, something to think about if you just want to have a bit of fun why not hey all right that's it for me guys I'll keep you updated maybe once a week on this game and just to kind of give you a progress of what I think the game is it does get quite repetitive so if, if you don't like repetitive simple games this is gonna annoy the crap out of you but if you just like something simple in the background just to play just to screw around not really think too much this is absolutely perfect and if you guys like this kind of tower defense games I, I'm looking forward to maybe even potentially getting a uh, what's that game? The Balloon Tower Defense. That's one of the first PC Tower Defense games that I played. And I thought it would be absolutely amazing. It was really, really fun. It just gets your blood boiling. I know you're just popping balloons as monkey. It's the funniest concept of all time. And I think it's really, really cool. Uh, kids like it. And it's not even something that's just purely for adults to play. So it doesn't use that much brain. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for me. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, you come this far, drop a little like, drop a subscribe, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. And some of you guys will be like, what in the world you've been posting? Check it out. If you like it, let me know. If you absolutely hate it, let me know too. That would be great. Catch you all later. Bye bye.